line. Brian Ross, hard pass. Letang, Crosby opens, kicks around in front, back to Malkin over to Crosby. He scores! Crosby, 500! A sensational moment! 500 goals in one remarkable career! He's coming on the ice. They win that battle. It goes off the body of Carter Hart and Sidney Crosby on a feed from Evgeny Malkin. Maybe that was appropriate as Brian Russ picks up the puck. Right back for Daly again, but that intercepted by Oshie. Played back ahead of Backstrom, ahead now to Ovechkin. Cruising on in, toe drag! seconds in a big collision below the goal line by TJ Oshi and Trevor Daly Alexander Ovechkin is outside the dots he works himself inside the dots to give himself a better lane pull it in shoot it back the other way at 35 seconds in that was a spectacular way to score 1,000 points way to go Alex out at center ice knocked away from Anders Lee played to an open wing and here's Miner bringing it in Miner with a little toe drag move drop pass scores Johnny Toronto I hope you can hear this John Tavares has just eclipsed his personal best record for points and he does it against the Islanders point number 87 on the season Goal number 46. Robin Leonard is not able to get across and take that high corner. Tavares makes absolutely no mistake about it. <laughs> Look at the reaction. Tells it all from, from the Islander fan. That's pretty good. Brown returns it to Tierney. Dadnoff called for it. May have a step here. Try to cut in. Wrapped it in front. Scores. Connor Brown. Seven straight games with a goal. And the lead now won. And the speed by Dadunov to the outside, but Brown doesn't go by the net. He stops in front, gets inside on Muzzin, actually gets the stick of Muzzin. Watch as he goes to the front of the net, gets in front of the stick of Muzzin. So instead of Muzzin being able to get this one and stop the pass across, Muzzin's forced to watch the stick of Brown put that one by Campbell. Their stick. Good job by Brody. Pick that stick up. And now Connor Brown, he's got a step, he's got a break, backhand, and Anderson to stop, look behind him, another chance, and that puck is in. Austin Matthews was in behind Anderson, but it gets over the red line, and Connor Brown has a shorthanded goal, and his 21st of the year. Blows right by Morgan Riley, and Riley does the right thing, he doesn't want to take a penalty, so he waits for Brown to go to his backhand, and then he angles him off, but the puck hits Anderson, and it sits there, and as Matthews comes back, he pulls the puck towards himself, and that allows Brown, who stops on the play, Riley doesn't, he pivots out, and Brown stays on the puck, and he gets rewarded for it. Riley has to take him off the play, jam the brakes on, and stay with him, not circle out and let him go. It was 754 games. Here he comes. Cuts to the middle. Edler, Daniel, scores! Wow. How sweet it is. Edler and Hendrick Sedin combined to set up Daniel. John, do you see the time of the goal? 33 seconds. Ah. <laughs> you are all over it. Look at that move by Hendrick. And then Alex Adler knows that Daniel's there. Henrik to Alex Adler, and Alex threw the legs over to Daniel. Luke Shen tried to block the pass. Alex threw it through his legs. It's 22nd of the season. Scored by number 22, Daniel City. Time of the goal, 33 seconds. They get it. It, it is. It and is. number 22 <laughs> got his 20 seconds. Yeah, it's just it, all it too is. perfect. It is. Daniel. Henry. Back for Daniel. Let's it go. He scores!
season for Harold Sedin and Alex Edler at 2.33 of overtime. <laughs> Cross ice feed picked off by the Panthers. And Hoffman to center. They give to Lamico, two on one. Lamico in front for Hoffman, and he scores! Welcome back to Ottawa! And Hoffman makes it 7-5, the point streak is at 16 now for number 68. For the Florida Panthers, who one could argue had really been dominated in this period, and the opportunity right here, not missed by 68, and boy is he happy. Yuho Lamico, the rookie, has tied a franchise record with four assists in the game. It was very difficult in those last two minutes. The fans, the building was going nuts. Try to get off, the guys would push me back on the ice. They wanted me to be up there for the final buzzer. It's a Stanley Cup! Raymond Moore, a dream has come true! Then Joe had an incredible year that year, but I tell him that's the best assist he'd ever had, is passing me the and cup. After 22 years, Raymond Moore! 2001 was just uh, phenomenal, knowing that that's the way I was going to walk out. They've struggled of late. They're on the bubble in the Western Conference. Sabres, they've lost 8 of 10. They're trying to get going. Pass it, Brett! Score! What a goal! Peyton Krebs, the youngster involved in the Jack Eichel trade with the beautiful redirection goal. And the Sabres, via the 21-year-old, make it 1-0. Krebs is coming up the middle of the ice, and he is going to... He is going to spin his way into the open part of the ice to take take the pass from Hinnestroza. Win for Eakin. Kept in by Eichel on the point, but taken by Tuck. Tuck to seal it. Bad angle. Goal! Krebs is scored. Tuck is scored. Sabres up 3-1. to one. In the locker room. This win is one of them. Eichel can't keep the puck in to get it past Alex Tuck. He races after it, knowing the game is on his stick. Um, I don't think he knows how to play. I don't. I, I, I just think he thinks he can go do whatever the hell he wants on the ice. He can't do it in the National Hockey League. Anthony Declare, Anthony Declare, walking in, scores! Anthony Duclair with his 16th of the year and the first point he's got against the Blue Jackets as a member of Ottawa. And the Senators strike first. Lifts it off the glass. Makes it to center. And it's caught by Anisimov. Feeds it across to Duclair who scores! Second of the game for Duclair and it's 2-1 Ottawa. For Pajot to Savant. Moves to the middle a little more for Duclair. Scores! A one-timer again to win the game for the Ottawa Senators in overtime. Then pass back against the flow for the one-timer. And Duclair with the hat trick here this afternoon. 15 career points in 13 games against Montreal. Here's Ravulov with it. Alexander Ravulov to Shea Weber. Goals! Shea Weber from Alexander Ravulov. What a homecoming. It's a 1-1 game. From Alex Radulov, as Mitchell comes in, good cross-ice pass to Radulov, and then a little hesitation play, and that's what Radulov does. Gets a little extra time and space for Weber, gets his head up. Nice wrister, good traffic in front of the net. And finally, Weber, uncontested. Nobody's on him this time, so he has a chance to walk in, pick his spot. Edler to Daniel Sabine, Henrik going to the net. Daniel centers, Henrik Deeks scores! And they're all going to come off the bench to congratulate Henrik Sedin. 1,000 points in the NHL. He wanted to do it at home, and he's done it against the man from whom he received the captaincy, and they have a quick embrace as Henrik Sedin ties the game at one. And what a pretty goal. Takes off down the ice. Alexander feeds it up. Daniel to Henrik, and then a beautiful little move on.
on Roberto Luongo, gets Luongo to open up.